Hey everyone, Matt here with Nightrun Studio, and in this video, we're going to set things up so that enemies and other obstacles can deal damage to our player. Let's get started. Now for this to work, you will need a player who can move around, as well as a sprite for your enemy. At this point, we're going to add a rigid body 2D, which we won't be using much in this video, but will become important in a little bit. Here we just want to go down to gravity scale, which we're going to take off so he doesn't fall off the map. We're also going to freeze his Z rotation so that he doesn't spin when we collide with him. Next, we're going to add a 2D collider. I like a capsule collider as it has no rough edges that can get caught on things when he moves around. And I'll just size this up. I'm going to make it a little smaller than the sprite itself so that he doesn't like get caught on his hat or torch. And already we've got collisions, but yeah, that happened. So because he's got rigid body physics, he has physics and he moves when we hit him. And for now, what we're just going to do is freeze his X and Y position so that he no longer moves. Later on, we'll add states like patrolling and chasing and things, and this won't be necessary. But for now, we'll just check those boxes. With that done, we're ready to actually make this enemy deal damage on contact. So let's create a new C Sharp script. We're going to call this first one player health as it will keep track of our health. Let's begin by getting rid of the start and update methods, which we won't need just now. All right, so we're going to need to start with two variables. We'll need a public integer called current health, as well as another integer for our max health. Next, we'll create a public method. This one's public because it's going to be talked to by our enemy's combat script. And we'll call this one change health. Now here in our brackets, we're actually going to add a parameter that will be passed in. This is going to be an integer called amount so that whether we're taking damage or being healed, we can pass in a number and affect our health by that amount. So whenever this method gets called, we want to take our current health and we want to add the amount that's been passed in. So if it's damage, it'll be a negative amount, and if it's healing, it'll be positive. The other thing that we want to do while we're here is clamp our health within a set range. So for example, if our current health becomes less than or equal to zero, we want the player to die. For now, we'll do that by going game object dot set active false. And this will just turn off the player's game object. Later on, we'll add some logic for if we overheal, but we can wait and do that when we're introducing healing. Back in Unity, we'll click on our player. I'm just going to add a component. We'll add player health. And for now, let's make our current and max health equal to 3. Now it's time to make this enemy deal some damage. So let's create another C Sharp script. I'm going to call this one enemy underscore combat. We'll use the enemy underscore on a number of scripts to help with organization. Let's just start by getting rid of start and update, as that'll just keep things clean and readable. And ultimately, we're going to add a number of states to our enemy so that he deals damage in different ways. But for now, let's begin with just touch damage. To do this, we're going to create an onCollision Enter2D method. But all this does is make a private method that will fire anytime the enemy collides with another 2D collider. The part in brackets here just stores the collision data of the object he hits in this collision variable. So when the player hits the enemy, the enemy will store the player's data in collision. And then we just want to back up. We want to go from that collider. We want to find its game object, which will be the player's game object, and then find the component on the player called player health. Now we want to call this change health method we just made and pass in an amount. So here we can type change health. And then in brackets, we can put the amount of damage we want to deal. In this case, I could do negative 1. However, this is called using magic numbers. We don't usually like to hard code numbers and pass them like this, as it can become hard to trace where the numbers are coming from later on. So to avoid that, let's come up top here and make a public integer called damage. And we can just initialize it to one. Since it's public, we can always change it later in the inspector. And now just in here in the brackets, we'll pass in damage instead of one. Now keep in mind that if we just left it like this, we would actually end up healing the player. And so we just want to take this damage variable and make it a negative one so that it subtracts. Now in Unity, we can click on our enemy. I'm just going to quickly rename this one. I'm going to call mine enemy underscore torch. And now we can add in the enemy combat script. You'll see here we can always customize our damage. Now when we get into test mode, you can see that whenever I bump into the enemy, I do in fact lose one health and eventually destroy the player. If I want to, I can also set my enemy's damage to a higher number, like say three. Now he will insta-kill the player. I know it's not much just yet, but we've got the makings of a health and damage system now. We'll elaborate on this in the next video. Hope to see you there. Until then, this is Matt with Nightrun Studio. Cheers.